Myeongdong on a Saturday night is absolutely buzzing. This is a really fun and exciting area full of makeup, fashion and so much yummy yummy food. Follow us as we travel around Myeongdong and show you some of the most popular eats in this area. Let's go! Okay, so today we are in front of Isaac Toast and Coffee. Um, apparently the toast here is very very yummy. Vitaly is already in the queue, let's see how it goes. Only 5 items on this menu, but apparently they're all popular, especially amongst the locals. What's happening in there? What is that? Now that's the bulgogi, right? Yeah. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah? Best sandwich. It looks really, really interesting. Bulgogi pork rib. And then I think that some of that bulgogi sauce with the cabbage and that nice omelette thingy. Mm. So good for breakfast. <laughs> it's like the Korean version of um, sausage McMuffin from McDonald's. <laughs> I got ham and cheese special. So, ham, cheese, cabbage, <laughs> egg, the works. Let's go. Mm. Oh, I love it. The bread makes it very special. It's sweet and buttery. This pickle's nice too. Are you enjoying your breakfast? Yeah, I want one more. <laughs> <laughs> Korean kalguksu, knife cut noodles, is famous and so is Myeongdong Kyoja, a family run shop serving up kalguksu and mando dumplings so good, they've earned their Michelin approval seven times, so of course we had to try. Check out those mouth watering knife cut noodles in hearty meaty broth. Mm. Nice smoky flavour in the soup. The noodles had such a great bounce and satisfying mouthfeel to them, whilst the mushroom pork broth was just so flavourful Vitali couldn't get enough. This is their signature mandu, dumplings filled with pork and vegetable stuffings, encased in a delicate thin translucent skin. It literally exploded with hot hot flavourful juice when I bit into it. So good! Right, so this place has a long history of noodles and dumplings. So, you know, they only had four dishes, <laughs> but they're tremendously successful. But for me, I think the dumpling wins the top prize in this establishment. It's really good. Tip. Even the kimchi here is awesome, made with lots of hot pepper and garlic, salted with sea salt and stored for at least 3 years. The original Milky Bee Rose ice cream in Myeongdong has closed permanently, but everywhere there's still gelato rose ice cream on sale. Aren't they so pretty? We found these little beauties at Sao Bakery, but actually, Vitali really loves shoe pastry stuffed with fresh every whipped cream. So in the end, we ended up going for one of those. It looks strange. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it and show no, you feel. <laughs> mm. Mm. Crispy and the cream is cold and tasty. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Happy. Mm. Let's go. When one is in Korea, one must try Korean barbecue, of course. 
So we too went in search of a good Korean barbecue outlet on the streets of Myeongdong. He thinks this looks good. <laughs> they think too. <laughs> Eventually, we ended up here, Yuk Tong Ryong. So this is supposedly a Korean barbecue outlet popular with the locals, not so touristic, and famous for their premium Jeju black pig specialty. So of course, we got the Jeju black pork belly. We also got these fantastic looking marinated pork ribs. Don't worry if you aren't quite sure how to handle everything yourselves, the staff is on hand to help you cook the meats, which I thought is pretty neat. So the meats come with an array of dips, a touch of salad, and sashimi leaves for wrapping. So grab a sashimi leaf, and then a hunk of glistening pork belly. Give it a good dip in some sauce. Add some salad if you like. Roll it all up with your chopsticks. Look at that. Isn't that just mouth watering? <laughs> The juice just squirts out as you bite into the meat. It's really nice. Very nice, very nice. Mm. And this was cyber leaf only. Very nice. Awesome possum. I ended up falling in love with the marinated ribs. They were so good. Oh. Mm. This is my favorite. This is so juicy and like with a really nice marinade. Very, very tasty. And now you have this with a bit of beer and you're like, mm, I like it. We flew from Bali to Seoul at the end of August, just before autumn set into Korea. Tickets were really cheap at this time. Possibly because the weather in Seoul at this period is alternately either pretty hot and sunny or with light drizzles. Still, Myeongdong at night never stops going, even with light rains. Thankfully, the drizzle never lasts for long anyhow and certainly didn't stop us and the rest of the night revelers from exploring Myeongdong's buzzing street food stalls. There's an incredible array of street food snacks on offer. Anything imaginable really. It doesn't come cheap, but walking Myeongdong at night exploring all the exciting street food options is definitely one of the unmissable food experiences in Korea. Another specialty must-try food experience in Myeongdong that deserves a special mention. Raw marinated crab, ganjang gejang. Available right up this unsuspecting little stairway at the famous Odari Jib. It looks quiet on the outside, and then you find there's actually a queue. A long, long queue. <laughs> we were lucky we came early and we got seated quite quickly. Here is that incredible raw crab marinated in amazing soy sauce made with oriental medicines, fruit and seaweed. We got the M-size crab set which comes with banchan, the side dishes, rice, a kimchi stew, steamed egg, plus we ordered a seafood and green onion pancake. Mm. Apparently, they ripen the crab with marinade for 7 days at low temperatures in earthenware, a traditional Korean method to get this incredible taste that rocked my world.
Did you like your meal? Yeah, what's up? A best crab ever, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> When you get tired of walking Myeongdong, another popular must-try comfort food is definitely Bude Chige, Korean army yeah. stew. Look at that bubbling away. <laughs> I was thrilled to have this for a late supper. You got sausages, tofu, kimchi, spam, bean sprouts, mm -hmm. Korean instant noodles, all stewing and bubbling away in this hot, spicy, flavorful broth. It's also super economical. This giant army stew fed us both for just 19,000 won in total. From bingsu to rice cakes, Koreans love their desserts and there's so many to choose from, traditional or western, so be sure to try them all. After our Myeongdong night adventures, we ended up grabbing a berry cream waffle and boy, even for something so simple, it was just so good. The cream was fluffy, fresh, not too sweet, berries were bursting with juice, and the waffle was just the right amount of crispy, which is to say not too crispy with some chew. Definitely always keep room in your tummies for desserts after the meals. In Korea, it's so totally worth it. Alright guys, that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed following us around on our food adventures in Seoul on this little holiday. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And I guess I will see you on our next adventures. Bye-bye!